Hi guys, I'm here to show you my Christmas in July mini. Um, it's part of the swap hosted by Sherry Scrappin and Rappin. And I'm really excited. I know that Sherry's done her album uh, video and Stephanie D2 as well as um, a couple of the girls. Um, they've also done their Christmas in July mini album as well. So please check out their videos. I'm really excited. I'm sorry it was, um, I haven't shown you um, this before but I had to finish the closure and I waited for that but it's been done I just wanted to show you when it was complete so basically this is my Christmas in July mini oven swap and let me see if I can get it okay so this is what it looks like this is um, canvas that I painted with my Lindy stamp gang um, chocolate truffle and I used the the paper by um, the paper collection crate by crate paper is called snow day or snowy day and um, this is um, grunge paper that I used so you could the reason why I left it kind of simple on the front is that oh this is also painted with my um, my cherry glimmer mist and then also my starburst scene um, maybe creme, creme brulee on the top, I think, or it was um, another one. I'm not sure, but I used my Starburst stain on top of that to give it that nice shimmer. Anyways, the reason why I did this and I left it kind of plain is that I wasn't sure, um, what the person wanted, and I put so much on the inside that I wanted to leave it kind of up to the person. So you could leave it like this, which was my original idea, or you can put it like this, and you can store it like that or you can store it it's pretty flat like this mm -hmm. so that's what it looks like on the outside and I wanted to put happy winter on here but I really like how elegant it looked so I wasn't sure if you wanted that look so I included this bag of all the goodies um, the happy winter you can put it I was like on the spine or here or here I couldn't decide and I didn't want to you know personalize it too much in case you wanted to do your own thing and I put all the leftover die cuts and little pieces that I die cutted and I seriously I used all of the paper the entire collection so that's it so let's open it and it opens like this and it's got the snowman collection of the snowman paper isn't that gorgeous? And I used these file folders. They're by Jelly Bean Soups. And I actually like ordered them by accident. I thought they were um, chipboard album. What I was going to use for something else. But anyways, I ended up using for this. So it's kind of big. It's it's supposed to be like 6 by 9 But that includes the tab. So it's not that big. But there's so much room and space. Okay, let's take a look. So the first one that says December. And then um, here I've got my banner flags. And you can put one one or something and then the hyphen here. You can just put it whatever year you want. And so I've got some tags here. There's the little button. I love to use the, the twine here. So this is kind of like crafty look. I've got my, my um, girl reindeer. And there's a little tab up here. So And then there's a transparency and it's got the... Um, snowflakes there. I saw Sherry did that as well on hers. I like the little candy and I just punched a little hole and tied some twine up there. And I left this open so you could slide a picture underneath. And then this one I just put a piece so you could write um, an, a journal message there. And then the back also has a candy. And that's not glued down either. It's just on there like that. And then of course you, you have to have a reindeer. And then I decided to add an extra paper here and I included this one and it has a tag behind first so I'll pull that out so there's um this is from the sticker sheet the crepe paper collection came with I think it came with 16 pieces of paper it came with a full 12 by 12 sheet of die cuts it came with a 6 by 12 sheet all of border strips and it came with a 6 by 12 sheet of all the sticker ones with the note messages and the file tabs and words and all that so I thought it was an excellent deal so, I used the My Road envelope and I put Dear Santa. So this is the letter to Santa or you can just write something you want and stick it in the envelope. And um, so I've got, these are by my MFT, these are from my MFT dies and I super love it. And I just cut this one out 
um, this was the die cut and I um, put this on a piece of chipboard which I um, stained with Lindy Stamp Gang. This one is also an MFT Gang stamp. So, and none of the um, stickers and whatnot had um, stickles. I did that all myself and glossy accents. So, there's a snowflake and a snowman. And then all of the tags. So, this is the first one. This one I've done, it has one craft and then one paper. And so, today is a gift and it's a snow, so snow. And then this one's kind of, it has a little date spot and another. I used all of the leftovers on the tags and stuff wish and then you can write here I really wanted to use that Christmas tree I didn't put that anywhere else and then there's another border strip and then you open it and it says Christmas and then here's the snowy day which I use my stickles on all everything and it says let's just put it on angle it says make a wish and wish list and oh my gosh this is so super cute it looks like little presents and stuff and I just made like these little sticks and they each have um, space to write a note um, with your wish list on it. I'm sorry if I'm not getting on camera. Aren't they super cute? Oh my gosh, you're going to love it. So oh, I thought that was a super idea. I know company makes the ones with the 10 tags in it. But I thought that would be neat to just make my own like that. So this one I um, used the Distress um, Crackle here. And I've got another stamp. And this one I put the die cut and then I popped up the f this circle to make a frame. And this is Snow snow Baby. But it comes out and you can put a picture on the back. And you can put a picture here. This is also from MFT Die. I love that one. So, and it's a Yeah. And then it has some tags. And this one says Wonder. And it opens up. And it's got um, hand stamped tags and for journaling spot or whatnot, and there's another one which it's all stickled and whatnot, a place for that, and this one, snow, snow, snow. This one's a, from the collection. I love this journaling spot. Mary, and that one's just plain. I so love the snowflakes. I love everything. I really want to keep this one, <laughs> but I know you'll have a good use out of it. So this one, um, I've had, I had felt strip that are, they were already done in the scallop pieces and I stained them with my dark tr chocolate truffle and then this is a velcro and I made it bigger in case you wanted to oh I think it's stuck oops and in case you wanted to move it or something so it opens up like that and then it has space for lots of pictures let's put it this way yeah And then you can boop. And then this one here, there's a pocket I made and I used my twine here again. And I pop this up a little bit. So it's a happy holidays and these are glossy accent. And then it's got two tags in here. Oh my gosh, I love these tags so much. There's a little present. It has a snowflake with um, these paper buttons and then a border strip down the bottom. And this snowman, and he says burr. And he's up so you can stick a picture right underneath him. I so love everything about this paper collection. I hope you super love it too. <laughs> and this one is a smaller mat. It says, I love winter. And then it, this one's memories. And this is a sideways one. And you can stick it underneath those ones. And notes here. And then just plain on the back. And then the next one, I used my three pocket one on that, of course. I, um popped up and I left the corner open so you could slide a picture down there and it should stick so let's try or not stick but it should sit nicely so it sits there and it has one piece here to keep it from falling so you can fit in nicely and I got some buttons and this is winter and over here it says winter is here so I kept the the um, Christmas tree theme as well and this one's a snowman joyful and, and family so we got three different pockets there and a border strip down the side and all of my folders I used um, washi paper tape in a kind of an olivey green to close it and so if you haven't noticed by now the theme of the Christmas Christmas and July swap is non-traditional colors which I definitely think I covered I so loved lime green pink and turquoise and orange the snowman and there's the date cold and another one 
tried to use as much as I could. And this one's got a transparent one, apparently, with the snowflakes. And there's a little snowman. This is my Martha Stewart punch, which I super duper love. And then this one comes out, and it's just got a snowflake there. Playing on the back. And then um, over here, I've got two gorgeous tags. This one's, um, this is from the banner die from Bridget that she sent me and that worked really nice that's the biggest one and I got a couple snowflakes one was dyed with um, orange Lindy stamp gang I just got a little button the white one on the top and then this one down here and this one I used my doily from MFT and I just folded it over and I tucked it under the paper there and I got a little heart and that one's um, been stained with the dark cherry um, glimmer mist and this one I used uh, in the I made a pocket using my grunge paper left over and then I I used um what did I do I'm thinking okay I think I used um, Lindy Stank Gang orange one first and it wasn't as bright as I wanted so I sprayed smooch spritz which was yellow on top of that to give it the bright look and then a couple snowflakes there and then over here got um, my snowman. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit. So I've got my snowflakes in the corner. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I'm not sick. I think I just have a dry throat. <coughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. All this um, snowmen are making me cold, maybe. It's really hot here right now, on the, on the contrary. And then there's my MFC. MFT dies from the well worn greetings stamp and die set. My snowman. This is a basic gray dye and embossing one, which I use my copets to color the turquoise around, and then this one here, and I put gloss accents inside. And here's another tag like that. Super love it. And then I use just the border strips, and that's up so you can stick a picture underneath. That's the basic gray dye, too. And um, a bling there, and some that's a felt flower, and then some snowflakes. We're almost finished, girls. Then there's a brown one. <coughs> <coughs> one season. And then we have the circle one, and it has blissful day. I super love how that turned out. And I got some place you can put a picture, a journal, a big picture, and some more journaling. There's a snowflake on that. And then it's kind of plain on the back. And then this one has um, a place to um, put some words or write something here. And then a picture above. I hope I didn't miss one. I think I missed these ones, guys. Yeah. And this one is like this with a big journaling spot. Angel. And then I have the leftover stuff that I use. So you can just put a big picture down the middle there. And then this one's a, um, a sideways one. Yeah. You can journal or put a picture there again, another one behind it, and then the back is the that one like that. And then the last page is kind of plain, but it should be, I really liked how it went out. So I layered this um, die cut piece on another piece of paper, and I stickled all, and I, I left this one, yeah, that's how I was figuring it out right there. Yeah, I left this one open so it can slide like that underneath it. I don't know if you like that, but that's how I did it. And then um, it's got a bling in the center of the snowflake there. A couple snowflakes. The top one's the orange Lindy Stamp Gang. And I just love this plane because I thought maybe you'd want to do some journaling or add something or a picture. So that one's just plain. So that's how I did it. And I've just got buttons here. And then another Martha Stewart punch, which I really like that. And then this one is um, a smaller oval one there and it's just tied in the snowflake and then there's Rudolph again and yeah you can write something here and then put a picture on the back and then I just got another on um, the diamond lace punch by Fiskars here that I got with Sherry and then I, there's you can see how um, I had some canvas stuff left over here and I put it underneath it and there's a big, this die that I use, let me just turn it, or not die, this uh, magnet in here, you can't even see it. It is so super, super strong. It's by Bottle, 
bottle cap incorporated I think. I got it from Simon Says Dance and it is extra large and it works so well. Okay guys that is my Christmas mini album. It's got lots of room to expand and that's what it